Here's everything so far that V64 Lethal Company has to offer. Remember, this is beta, so things are always subject to change. A belt bag was added that costs 45 credits. This takes up an inventory slot, is 16 pounds, but can hold 15 equipment items without adding any more weight to you. You can even put keys, shells, and other belt bags into the belt bag for infinite equipment storage. You cannot put any scrap, knives, or shotguns in the belt bag. Meteor showers are a random event that can happen when you're on a moon. It has a 0.7% chance of happening. Getting hit by a meteor, as you would think, kills you, and so I don't recommend it. You can now stand and drop items on top of old birds. The y-axis viewing was increased from 60 to 80 degrees. Haunted doors and mansion became less common. Single item days were reduced again to a 5.2% chance. There is also less chance to get two-handed or rare items for a single day scrap. Flasks, plastic cups, clock, and toy trains are no longer conductive. Dine's outdoor power was decreased back to 7. Previously, it was 10. The man-eater laid off the junk food a bit and lost some weight, and so now it's 21 pounds. The man-eater will now teleport to the closest nav mesh node during the adult phase. TZP now costs 80 credits instead of 120. For interior changes, Vow decreased its mineshaft chance to 45%. Ren decreased its mineshaft chance to 14% and Titan increased its mineshaft chance to 24%. Web bug was supposedly fixed. A bug with March was fixed that spawned extra scrap after getting a mineshaft interior on a previous moon, and soccer ball blocking line of sight to entities was fixed. That's all I have as of now for all the changes in the current V64 beta. I'm hoping the full release is soon, but... In the meantime, subscribe to stay tuned to the channel and stay updated with everything that's going on in Lethal and just to get a bunch of good guides and fun content. So, see you in the next video. Peace.